Today, I'm going to the hospital. This is what happened. I do not even know where to start. Yes, today was a big episode. I mean, it's always Friday's episode, and Michael and Will's wedding is next week, starting Monday through Friday. Uh, break big news, and Tracy's coming back, like, last week. Anyway, let's get to the big episode. No Nina today, but they did talk about Nina. Uh, Dante came over to talk to Sonny, and Don- Sonny said... So Dante said he wanted to go out to, uh, for lunch with Sonny. He wanted to go out with lunch or something with Sonny. Later, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> and Sonny said, no, I can't. I'm going to Michael and Will's wedding. Dante said, no, you aren't. And then the next thing, Dante was like, congratulations. I don't know what that was all about. Anyway, Sonny and Dante kept talking. And Dante's like, looks like your and Michael's relationship is growing. Sonny said, yeah, I'm invited to the wedding. It's good, big news. But Nina is invited. And then uh, next, there was a commercial. And I think it went back immediately. And Dante made out a good point. Dante said, listen, if if you're going to Mike and Lil's wedding and Nina's not going, which Nina must be heartbroken, she can't go to her daughter's wedding, how does that affect you guys' relationship? Good point, Dante. Speaking of Dante. He's in a couple of Sam, everybody. Uh, Sam went to... Oh, yeah, Sam dropped Dante off and then went to Charlie's Pub where Chris, where Dex was there to deliver Christina something. And when she opened it, she was like, I can't believe my dad would do this. Okay, Sonny sent uh, Christina a big note that is talking about something like she gets charity or something. She gets charity of Charlie's Pub and some of the homeless, I think my mom said. So anyway, that must be big for Christina. And Molly. Molly's going to go get herself checked out. Because if you don't remember, Molly is pregnant. She's not pregnant. I thought she was. She's trying to get her. Oh, okay. And so she went to go visit Dr. Navarro. She said she wanted to do whatever test to make sure... Things are going healthy, milky, strong. <laughs> um, and then TJ, uh, again, dropped Molly off. And then Laura and Alexis, you know, some couches by the hospital desk, desks. What What is up with me today? And so Laura and Alexis were talking. We're talking about Nicholas and Victor and all this haunted star stuff going on. And I want to mention something about Curtis and Drew. They're like good detectives who always look for Operation Demeter, which is a Greek goddess and of mythology or something. <laughs> and Drew and Curtis were uh, looking for some Oscars old stuff and some hats, military stuff. Curtis found Drew was like, oh, you better keep looking for that. And Drew was right. Curtis found a book of Mick, Mick, Greek mythology, which probably mentions something about Operation Demeter. So Drew was like, that's perfect. I can't believe Oscar kept this. They don't know about Operation Demeter. So they looked for the book. They found a loose, empty piece of paper and it showed a map. What map is it? It's exactly where Victor is headed to to tear down the population in Port Charles. Basically destroying that. And it's... Victor's never been this bad as a criminal mastermind in the history of General Hospital. From 1963 to this second. And I mean it. He is very powerful. So Drew found something. It was a map. And so Drew and Curtis studied it. And then Drew found a mark. Okay, so then Curtis and Drew went to Laura, who just stopped talking with Alexis after TJ interrupted them. So TJ and Alexis ended up talking about Molly, Delora, Curtis, and Drew. I feel like they're all one big group of three that is going to go on a voyage like to like find everybody. Spencer, Trina, Ace, Liesl, all of their loved ones. Drew, unfortunately, doesn't really have anybody on the hot star that he's looking for. But he wants Kurt, but he's encouraging Curtis that Trina's going to be back. Curtis is like, 
well, the more time comes on, like the more time goes by, the more worried I get because it's taking so long. All right, we did get to see more of a hot start, Spencer and Trina. Okay, before I get to that, which that involves the end, it's weird and exciting. And let me give you a hint. Are we ready for this? Probably. Anyway, uh, Gladys and Sasha were also at Charlie's Pub. And Gladys ended up suggesting to Sasha, to Sasha that they go on a vacation out of, a, out, of, out of Port Charles. Nowhere near it. So Sasha was like, yeah, that just came out of a subject we weren't talking about. Um, yeah, they were talking about Cody. So Sasha's like... Why do I get the feeling that this is about something else other than a vacation? So, yeah, Gladys knows that she framed Cody for stealing a $1 million bracelet that Sasha bought Gladys. I think Sasha bought Gladys it. So that's how Sasha's money's running out. And so Gladys knows she framed Cody for this. And, she, and she's worried that everybody's going to find out. And she probably wants to leave for Charles or do something. So Sasha, uh oh, Sasha decides to give Gladys her credit card. And when you know when you give Gladys Gladys your credit card, that means bad luck. And if you haven't met Bonnie Burrows, do not give her your credit card. She will go to per poker. And probably spent $175,000 by gambling, got caught, and, you know, she plays poker, and Sasha doesn't know. And then Sasha went to go visit Cody. I don't think Gladys took the credit card. Thank you, Gladys. Sasha went to go visit Cody, who was over in Brooklyn, trying to figure out with Mama Q, Olivia, and Ned, and everybody will f if Cody's going to get fired or not. Because he has a job at the horse stables. And the quarter bands have a good moolah. Well, I think that means money, like moolah. And so anyway, the quarter bands are rich. So Cody's telling Sasha, Cody's warning Sasha not to trust Gladys. And Sasha's like, you think I'm going to uh, pick you over my mother-in-law? The person, the mother who I saw her all over, all over when... I lost my daughter, the person who I love, the person who's been there for me ever since my son died, Liam. Anyway, Cody's like, no, it's all my fault. Cody, just tell the truth, and so Sasha will know to trust you and not to give Gladys a credit card. Okay, back to Sprina, last thing. Sprina's really getting into kissing, and they do it every day now. Not like this. They were talking about doing it. You know why? Because Trina told Spencer, I'm going to experience everything I haven't experienced as a kid with you. Spencer's like, I'm a total brat, dude. You sure you know that I'm the right person to crush on? Okay. Uh, before the outro, you know, but, 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 but I'm not going to go over that again. I've done it a million times. Spencer looks out the window. He's like, oh, my God, we spotted land Monday. I don't know if we're going to get back to the hot star, but we sure are getting back to this Holly and Tracy stuff, which I saw in the preview. No spoilers. And if there's anything else you forgot, let me know in the comment section below. Holy macaroon. Thanks for watching my video. Also, send a like. Hope you enjoy, Brian.